All right, so the third switch of the night then. Second OLED. Second no power not charging. Let's have a look. Let's plug her in and see what she does. That charger did not feel good at all. And we get absolutely nothing on that side. Yeah, that charge port is knackered. Uh, that tried to draw three and a half amps of current, which means that charge port is internally shorted. And now it's just flicking on and off, which is, uh, yeah, another sign that the, short, the charge port is shorted. All right, this could be fairly simple. Um, it could be another M92 issue, but we'll check the charge port first. But that charge port is definitely 100% bad. It did not feel good when I plugged that in at all. Companies need to make better ports. It's not the companies, mate. It's it's the user. It's one hundred percent the user. I mean, Microsoft. Uh, sorry, Sony could have done better with their PS Five port. Like you think they would have learned the lesson, but most ports, it's it's down to the user. I'm sorry, but it just, that's just it. It is definitely a user problem, and that's why manufacturers don't offer warranty on ports. Like if a customer come to me and said my charging port's broke again, it's not getting done under warranty. Like I would never do it under warranty. I'm not a fool. Yeah, proper mangled. That's pretty rough looking. So 100% it needs a charge port. This switch could also be liquid damage. That charge port looks like it's corroded slightly. Uh, no, I'm not seeing any liquid damage around M92 and stuff. Uh, I'll change the charge port first before I go any further. Let me just pop these clips off. Yeah, that's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Uh, even on the top of it, it's a little bit of a mess. Uh, yeah, I think the internet issue is sorted, mate, yeah. Alright. There we are. Hot air, 440 degrees. Where did I put my tweezers? There they are. Always give it a nudge first just to make sure it's good to lift up. How are we looking? Good art. Fix you lab. Fix you lab. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. Welcome to Fix the Labs viewers. We are repairing a Nintendo Switch OLED at the moment. I don't think this port's gone on properly though. Let's just double check. It might have done. It's very slightly out of alignment by a couple of millimetres, but it's on there. Yeah, it's soldered down, so that's uh, absolutely fine. Just clean that up. There we are. Cool. 
Right, so there's the port replaced. So now I need to just check uh, M92. Um, again, it can still be faulty, even if it's not showing as faulty. But I'll check it at least and just see if we've got any obvious shorts. So just like the last one, yes, it can still be faulty, even if it doesn't show as being faulty. Yeah, Fixer Lab, thank you for the raid, mate. I hope you had a good stream. Um, if one of the mods can post a shout out to Fixer Lab so that people can go and check his channel out, his hair, uh, not sure which, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you, appreciate it. Uh, right, so let's just check for shorts. Do I have. Yeah, I'm in continuity mode. So no short there. Okay, M92 appears to be good. Let me just check the CPU capping resistance mode. Uh, which I call it a CPU cap. It's a 1.8 volt line. It's not a CPU cap, but it does go to the CPU amongst other things. Uh, 20k isn't right. What's the deal with that? 10k. That's more like it. All right. Yeah. So 10,000 ohms on that. That's absolutely fine. It seems okay. And just get rid of this thermal paste from off here. There we are. Good. Get rid of the microscope. And unlike the last one, I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm going to check this and see if it displays before I put it all back together. I do not want to sit there and have to root all of those ribbons for nothing. Because it's annoying. It's very frustrating. So there's that. And the battery. And then I'll just see if we get signs of life. I see if it charges and displays. Okay, we get 15 volts. Yes, M92 is good on this one. Just a charge port. Okay, so I'll let that charge. It is very, very dead. Uh, we're getting uh, 90 milliamps of current draw on that. So I'll let that one charge while I put the rest of it back together. Yeah, I'm going to get this switch out of the way. I'm going to leave it charging. And I'll pop it over here. And I'll just test it later. Oh, it's just turned on. <laughs> Literally just booted. All right. I guess we'll test it now then. Okay, that's working. Another one with Minecraft in the game card slot. That's nice. Yeah, Minecraft. Picks up my Wi Fi. Connects to the internet. This one I can test Joy Cons because there are Joy Cons with the switch. Uh. Oh, oh. Okay, that Joy-Con works, but that one don't, and that is, oh, did that connect then? Ah, oh. I forgot to put the retention clip down, that's annoying, I bet this is going to work now, isn't it? Well, we all make mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, typical. Uh, what's that stick drift then? No. All right, whatever. It's working. Uh, that was annoying. So I've just taken that apart. I've just, uh, just had to take that back apart again for nothing. This is why we test them. 
This is why we test them. You inspired me to put pull and start working on a squeaker board up eBay like two years ago. Nice dude, awesome mate. Hopefully you get it working, but don't you probably need a very long charge on that battery to get that going now. Just good job I didn't press that down. Ah, he did void it a little bit. It doesn't matter. Um oh no. It was covering the fan, preventing it from moving freely. But yeah, the switch is working anyway, that's the main thing. 